Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous videos we have learned about how to display the post as well as the date, author, etc. I think before we start displaying the taxonomies we should actually understand what they are quickly. Okay, so what are these taxonomies? Well, taxonomies within WordPress is a way of classification or grouping of posts together based on a select number of relationships. So basically, if you have lots and lots of posts available, if you want to group them together uh, in terms of like categories, etc., you can classify them with the help of taxonomies. Okay, so how many types of taxonomies there are? You will say to me, hey Imran, I think it's categories and tags and then we can, uh, you know, register new ones if you want. Well, yes, uh, I would say that categories and tags are default taxonomies in WordPress, but if, if you had to ask me, there are only two types of taxonomies. Well, really? Let's find out. The first one is hierarchical. So hierarchical are the ones which have got parents and non-hierarchical are the ones which do not have parents. So now if you try to fit in your categories and tags, all of that, and even your custom taxonomies, there would only be two types of taxonomies, either hierarchical or non-hierarchical. Okay, so what are the default WordPress taxonomies? Well, number one, it's category, which is hierarchical, which means that it has got parent-child relationship. And then there are tags, which are non-hierarchical, which means they do not have children. There is one more, which is called post format. Okay, uh, I personally wouldn't be using it because now in the WordPress Gutenberg editor you anyways have all the options that are available but if you do want to use it I just want to show you quickly so this is the post format and as you can see that is used by the theme for presenting post in certain format and style and the list of formats that are supported like these aside gallery link image and if you want to provide support so by default it's not supported so it won't exist by default if your theme supports it you will have to add uh, add theme support post format and whatever formats you want to support out of that list that I just showed you okay so how does it look in the editor once you do add theme support it appears here in the post format so since we registered the aside and gallery that's where it shows okay once we start talking about the database we'll come back to that but just wanted to give you a quick uh, brief information about that now, how many of you already know what terms are? You must have heard about this, right? Terms. What, the, what are these? So, terms refer to the items inside of the taxonomy. Let's take example of movies. Now, you can see that you've got lots and lots of movies available. If I had to ask you to classify them or group them together and categorize them, how would you do it? So, let's say we have movies and movies could be post in WordPress context. Now movies would have a genre, right? There could be action movie, there could be comedy, thriller, romance and many more. So what is this taxonomy and what is this term? So genre over here is the taxonomy and the action comedy thriller romance that you see over here are actually terms. So basically the items inside of the taxonomy are actually the terms. So I think with this reference it will be clear to you what are terms and what what is taxonomy. Okay so now we are going to go to the database table and find out where does WordPress stores all of this information. So where does it store the taxonomies, the terms? Well it stores them in taxonomy tables. So what are those tables available? So the first one is WP underscore terms and it stores all the taxonomy terms. So let's take an example. So we had genre that you just saw. So inside of genre we had the action, comedy, thriller. So see the information about action, thriller, comedy, all of that will be stored inside of WP underscore terms. Then we need to have a relationship between taxonomy and terms because the term is not a category or a tag on its own until it's got some context. So it must be given the context using the term taxonomy table. 
So term taxonomy table places the term within a taxonomy and that's how we get to know whether it's hierarchical or non-hierarchical. And then finally we have WP underscore term underscore relationships. So as you can see the name depicts that it stores the relationship information. How would you come to know which of your posts have got which terms? So it actually stores the relationship between term and objects. Now the object could be for example post. So it stores that information. Now there is one more table which is called WP underscore links. It is out of the scope of this tutorial but you can read about it if you want. Okay so let's get into the detail of these tables. So the first one is WP terms holds the basic information about a single terms. So what is it store? It stores the term ID which is the unique ID for the term. It stores its name which is simply the name of the term. So think of it like action or comedy or thriller. It also stores the slug of that which is unique and it's the name reduced to a URL friendly form. And then there's term group which is a means of grouping together similar terms. And then we have got the WP underscore term underscore taxonomy table. So it contains the term taxonomy ID which is a unique ID for term plus taxonomy pair because there needs to be a relationship between the two. And then you have the term ID which is the ID of a term in the terms table. And then you have taxonomy. So taxonomy designates the taxonomy in which the term resides. So the default tax taxonomies are category, link, category and post tag. And then it contains some description and it also contains information about its parent. So the parent field keeps track of the hierarchical relationship between the terms in the taxonomy. You also have count which tracks how many objects are associated with the term taxonomy pair for example so how many posts are there in, in this particular category. And then we have got the WP term relationship and like I explained to you earlier that this relates the objects such as posts or link links to the term taxonomy ID from the term taxonomy table. So you've got the object ID which is for example for the post ID and then you also have the term taxonomy ID and then finally the term order. So term taxonomy ID we already discussed it's a unique ID for the term taxonomy pair and then you have the term order which allows the ordering of the terms for an object. Now as if you'll notice and if you take a look at the color and tell me which color is matching between the tables you'll say to me hey Imran I can see that term taxonomy ID has got the same color in WP term relationships and WP term taxonomy. Well the answer is yes they are connected to each other and then you will say to me that yes term ID is also having uh, same colors so yes they are also interconnected. So WordPress actually when it runs queries it uses uh, the MySQL queries like you with the help of inner joins etc uh, so for example if you want to have post uh, with certain terms, certain taxonomies you can have that. So this relationship table actually helps us to get the data that we want because because there is a connection between these three tables. Okay so if you worked with MySQL you would know that you know we can have one particular ID common uh, between two tables and that's how we can do inner join and you know get the data that you are looking for. Okay brilliant so I hope that concept is clear to you and if it is still not don't worry we're gonna take a practical example a live demo of this. Let's go for it. So let's say that we're gonna go to our posts and I have already created the category so I don't actually have to create one but if you want to you can create categories from here so you can see that this is the adventure category it already has five posts that are assigned to the same term okay so these are terms as you can see the category is actually the taxonomy if you hover over it and look at down at the bottom on the left hand side it says taxonomy equals category in that URL 
towards the end. So taxonomy is the category and these are the terms that you see. Okay. And if I take I had to take an example of um, movies that we spoke about. So let's say there is action, then there is um, comedy. What do you like? Thriller movies? Let's have thriller as well. I like action movies and thriller as well. Okay, great. So we've got all of these uh, terms. Great. This is awesome. Let's go ahead and assign some of the posts to it. So I have beautiful valleys. Uh, let's quick edit and I'm going to assign it to, it's already been assigned to some of them, but I'm going to assign it to thriller and I'm also going to assign it to action. Okay, let's update it and let's check it out how it goes. So based on our discussion, we, if you remember, the first table we're going to look at is the WP term. So this is my PHP admin and we discussed that the WP underscore terms table actually, which is this one right here, it, cre it keeps track of all of the terms information like its ID, name, slug and term group. So let's take a look. If you browse it, I have got the other taxonomies that I had created and I'm looking for the ones that I had just now created. So I have the comedy, thriller, action, yeah, all of that. And you can see this is the ID for that, this is the name, and then there's also a unique slug also uh, available for it. If you're wondering what will happen if I have like another thriller, then it'll just add thriller dash one, thriller dash two, and so on, it, just to ensure that the slug is unique. Okay, great. So you can see that this is where it's storing information about the terms that we have. And then we have the term taxonomy table, which is this one right here. And like we discussed, it's going to have a unique ID for the term taxonomy pair. And then you have got the term ID, taxonomy, description, parent count, all of that stuff, right? Let's take a look. So these are the old ones. You can see that uh, let's go to the one we have created, okay? By the way, this is the post format. Remember that we had created one post format. This is already appearing over here. Okay, so I think the best way to look at this, if we can open the WP underscore terms on a different tab, so then we can look at what was the ID of the term that we were looking at. So you were looking at the let's take example of uh, let's say thriller okay it's got an ID of 27 so let's take a look so you can see that it's got 27 ID and it belongs to category and that's where we had created so that means that taxonomy has been assigned to this term into this table which is our WP term taxonomy table so it basically contains the relationship between the term and the taxonomy and it's also created this ID for that. So that's how we come to know that. And the count, if you see, we've got one post uh, assigned to this. That's why you've got count one. If you've got more posts assigned under this, uh, then you'll have more count like these ones. Okay, awesome. Let's go to our term relationship. I'm gonna keep this open in this tab so we can always come back to it, us. So we can always come back. So remember the ID is 27, okay? Brilliant. So I'm going to open the term taxonomy table. And if you remember, this contains the relationship between the term as well as the object, for example, post. So what was, the, uh, so you have got the object ID, which will, in our case, will be the post ID. Then you have the term taxonomy ID, which, which is basically this one, which is 27. And then you have the term order. Okay, so let's browse it. Uh, so what are we looking for basically? What we're looking for is the term taxonomy ID 27. So where is it? Let's take a look. Let's go forward. And we can also search it if you want, but uh, I'll just go like this. So there you go. So you can see that the term taxonomy ID is 27, which is this one. Okay. And the post ID which assigned to it is this 482. So let's verify it. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And I want to know whether or not this post ID is the same as it's assigned. So you can see, I don't know if you can notice if it's too small for you, it's 482 over here. 
Okay, so that's the same that's the same ID that's been assigned. So now you understand how this relationship is maintained. So in our case, term ID was 27, uh, which was the same maintained over here as well. And term taxonomy ID was also 27. The same relationship is you know used over here. And then object ID, which was our post ID was 482. All right, so I hope it is pretty clear to you about how WordPress saves this information into the database and you will be able to build complex applications because your concept is clear now. Okay, if you still have any questions, you can leave in the comment box and I'll be happy to answer that. And if you did like my video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub as well as Twitter. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.